Hi, this is Clark Smith. I'm the winemaker for Winesmith. Many of you know about my Cabernet Franc. I've made Cabernet Franc all over the United States. And this is the first vineyard that I ever came across that really I thought was a complete wine. A lot of times Cabernet Franc either is very, very vigorous and it can shade itself, it can get purazzini, you know, it can smell like bell pepper, or it might not have very good color. On the one hand, it might be sort of round and fruity and simple, like a Grenache often is. Uh, other times, uh, on serpentine soil, it'll be remorselessly tannic. I'll blend those two together and make a nice wine. But this is from Diamond Ridge Vineyards, which is in the southeast corner of Clear Lake. So we're at high altitude. We're on a volcanic soil. So great drainage, we don't get that aggressive canopy, we get the roots really drilling down to find water. And so that allows the high UV up there. The air is very clean and thin. And so the UV will enhance the fruitiness of the wines and the color and tannin. And then uh, we're right next to Clear Lake so it's like a mountain vineyard with a lake effect. This is very unusual. And so at about 2.30 in the afternoon, we'll have to put our sweaters on because it'll get down. There'll be a nice breeze come off the lake, and it'll cause us to retain that fruit and not get any raisining. So really a remarkable vineyard. In uh, 2007, when I started making this wine, there's something about the tannin and the minerality from living soil that you get there and from the volcanic ash that made the wine just age for an extremely long time. And we ended up not being able to bottle it for 96 months. And so now I've learned that I have to let it hang a little bit longer so that it becomes a little easier to manage. And then the other thing I like to do is to pick some Merlot and crush that first into the tank, then drain off some rosé. So we just have the Merlot skins. I'm trying to make a Cinnamillon, just basically two-thirds Cab Franc, one-third Merlot, and that works really well. By itself, the Cabernet Franc can be a little grainy. The Merlot is very fat, and so it fills in the graininess, and you end up with a round, silky, smooth wine with, as I said, a great deal of aging potential. So this one is a 2017, and we just bottled it, so it's been in 20-year-old oak for 56 months. Now it's starting to show some bottle bouquet. Uh, the grouty herbs up there impart yep. some sage and bay laurel and uh, rosemary. Then we have cinnamon and uh, what I call white cherry for the fruit and uh, this intense minerality in the finish. So uh, this is 2017, so it's the 11th vintage off of that. And uh, many of you know this is, this is kind of the wine that I'm the most known for. So there's lots of that cinnamon spice and those droughty herbs in the nose surrounding this beautiful white cherry uh, bright fruit. And what, what energy in the palate. It's just amazing how much it lights up. And uh, long, long finish. Wine is still quite age-worthy, but I think it's really drinking well right now. So I hope you enjoy this as much as uh, many of you have the previous vintages. I recommend it with uh, a ratatouille or uh, a duck breast. Uh, and I, I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do.